Tonight we begin with deer hunting seasons and the dogs involved. After a hunting dog was shot and killed in Sumter County late last week, social media posts have been circulating about what happened. News 19 Sam Perez sat down with the dog's owner to learn more. But I just don't understand how he could just kill a dog that way. Bert Causey has been hunting deer for more than 50 years, starting at age seven. For the first time in his hunting career, Causey tells me his dog was shot and killed. It hit me pretty hard, you know. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources confirms a hunter, quote, admitted to shooting a hunting dog while deer hunting on his property. It was determined that the dog was killed about six miles from where it had been released. It's been a lot of stress on me, my family, and uh, the dog had name and phone number on the collar. <laughs> so all, all you had to do was call me. Lewis War is an attorney planning to represent Causey in a civil suit against the shooter. Generally, um, in historical senses, um, this is this isn't the first time this has ever happened to a hunting dog around. According to War, there are two laws that protect dogs from instances like this. One law prohibits the killing of animals in general, and hunting dogs specifically are protected under a separate law, which says, quote, a dog that has entered upon the land of another without permission given to the person in control of the dog shall not be killed, maimed, or otherwise harmed simply because the dog has entered upon the land. The maximum punishment is a $500 fine and 30 days in jail. In this case, War says the shooter received a $125 fine. For Street Squad Sumter, Sam Perez, News 19, WLTX. And wildlife leaders say the shooter was charged under that state law for killing the hunting dog and has a court case pending for the misdemeanor. Ultimately, the final penalty will be left up to the judge.